starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and of course, Lassie. Raise your right hand, boys and girls, and repeat after me. I give my pledge as an American. I give my pledge as an American. To save and faithfully to defend from waste. To save and faithfully to defend from waste. The natural resources of my country. The natural resources of my country. Its soil and minerals, its forests, waters, and wildlife. Its soil and minerals, its forests, waters, and wildlife. Thank you, children. Be seated. I'd like one of the children to pass out these junior forest ranger badges, please. Mary? There you are, Mary. As you know, children, we're facing an emergency, and the Forest Service needs your help. Right now, with a watershed burned off, there's nothing to stop the winter rains from washing down, flooding Calverton and the entire valley. Now, here's where you come in. You're being recruited, just like soldiers, when our country is in danger. Tomorrow, the entire class will be taken to the mountains to plant seeds for trees. Wow! There'll be no school tomorrow and no homework tonight. Yay! And there's one other thing. We need seeds. And seeds are extracted from fresh pine cones, like this one. Now, if the cones are too ripe, like this one, you'll find that it's already opened up and that the seeds have fallen out. Unfortunately, at this time of the year, fresh pine cones aren't too plentiful. So we'll need a volunteer to help find some ahead of time so that we can proceed with the planting tomorrow. Mr. Allen, Lassie and I know where there's a big grove of pine trees right near our house. We can get all the pine cones you need. Lassie? Well, she's my dog. We're not playing games, son. This is a serious business. Oh, don't worry about that, Mr. Allen. I'm sure Lassie will help. She's practically a member of this class. <laughs> What's your name, son? Timmy Martin, sir. Well, Timmy, do you think that you and uh, Lassie could find enough pine cones to fill these three sacks? Yes, sir. All right. I'm excusing you from school this afternoon, Timmy, so you can get started right away. Yes, ma'am. Oh, dear. Lassie, would you please bring me that trowel? And up and down so many times, my knees feel like rusty hinges. That's a girl. <laughs> oh, you are a good girl. Well, I suppose I'm wasting my time here trying to grow flowers if we're going to have a flood, but... I don't know. I believe in looking on the bright side, don't you, Lassie? Lassie? See you later, Mom. Well, would you, just a minute, young man. What are you doing home from school? Well, Lassie and I have to fill these bags with pine cones by tomorrow morning. Our class is going to plant pine cone seeds to prevent floods. And Lassie and I have been drafted into the Forest Service. See? Oh. Well, then I guess you're under orders, General. Thanks, Mom. Bye. Come on, girl. isn't any good either. The pine cone has opened up and all the seeds have fallen out. At this rate, we'll never fill these bags. Those are the kind of pine cones we need. If I only had something to knock them... I won't work. 
work, Lassie. They're too high. Hmm. Guess we'll have to start looking on the ground again. understand that these seeds make the forest safer for him, too. I've got an idea, Lassie. We'll be right back, Mr. Squirrel. Come on, Lassie. See what we've got to feed a squirrel. Uh, let's see now. Me? Oh no, no, squirrels are vegetarians. Here's some corn. I like that. And uh, oh, berries. Yeah, they'd like those. So do I. <laughs> well, there goes a pie I was gonna bake for you. That's okay, Mom. I better get something to put these in. Um, oh, these walnuts will be a nice treat. Hadn't we better shell them first? Oh, no. He has a built-in nutcracker. Oh, gee, Mom, you know everything. Well, not everything. But there isn't much that I don't know about feeding people. <laughs> and animals. Right, Lassie? Here's another one, boy. Thanks, little squirrel. 
Lucy? I guess that's enough. Oh, it's heavy. This is too heavy. We can't carry all of this. Maybe I can have Dad bring a pickup in the morning. <laughs> before morning. I just got to save my pine coats. I'll get my wagon. You can't go out in this storm in the middle of the night. But, Mom... No, I'm not going to let you go. Now, that's all there is to it. What am I going to do? We've just got to plant those seeds tomorrow. And everybody depended on me. Oh, Timmy. Now, look, I know how important it is to you, but... Now, you know yourself that the creeks and gullies don't usually fill up with the first storm of the year. Your pine cones will probably still be there in the morning. Even with the runoff of the watershed? Well, the water would have to be running awfully high to wash them away. Yeah, I guess so. And most of them are in sacks. Oh, well, and I'm sure the pine cones will be all right. Now, look, I'm going back to bed, and so are you. But I'll leave a note for your father to awaken you as soon as he gets in in the morning, all right? Okay, Mom. All right, dear. Now, you get some sleep. I'll try. Good night. Night. Streams are running high this morning, Timmy. That was a bad storm. The water's right up to the levee where we built the dam last night. Not a pine cone. Not one seed. Nothing. Trying to protect his store. 
Poor little squirrel. They're waiting for you at school, Timmy. They're waiting to plant trees with seeds I haven't got. Well, I know how you feel, son. You were entrusted with an important job. You wanted to succeed. Well, it isn't your fault that you didn't. Well, maybe it is, Dad. If I hadn't left them there, if I had taken them home, one sack at a time. There's no use being iffy, Timmy. You waste a lot of time that way. Come on. I'll give you a ride to school. Dad, maybe you could call Miss Hazlitt and tell her what happened. No, Timmy. But I can't face the class and Mr. Allen. They depended on me, and I let them down. I just can't face them. Timmy, you were given a responsibility. Now, act like a responsible person. No one will think less of you if you don't have those pine cones, but they will think less of you if you don't have the courage to face them. Dad, I'd like to walk to school if you don't mind. I'll go. But I want a few minutes to think over what I'm going to say. That might not be a bad idea. And you'll realize again, boys and girls, when you read this pamphlet, that Smokey has a big job to do. But Smokey can't do it alone. He needs your help. He needs the help. Timmy, what happened? You're late. I'm sorry. Quiet, children. What's wrong, Timmy? Couldn't you find any pine cones, son? Yes, sir. I found hundreds of them. More than we needed. Did you bring them? Not exactly. There were too many. I couldn't carry them. I was going to have my dad pick them up this morning. The last night's storm washed them away. Well, that's too bad, Timmy. I guess I let you down. Well, we know you did your best, Timmy. And now, uh, perhaps, Mr. Allen, we could... Look, Mr. Allen. Well, this is perfect. It's just what we need. She wants us to follow. All right, we'll all go. But children, be sure to get your sweaters and jackets on the way out. Well, where did these come from? I don't know. Unless... Thank you, Lassie. That's the way. You've got the idea. It isn't necessary to plant these seeds too deeply. Just a half an inch or an inch will do.
want to commend this class for making Operation Woodland a success. And Timmy, you deserve a special thanks for supplying us with seeds. And I think your squirrel will appreciate these nuts more than anything we could give him. I know he will. There's one more award. It's a very special one. On behalf of the Forest Service, I bestow this honor. Lassie, this badge makes you an official junior forest ranger. Sit up, Lassie.